back line of that zone and a little bit more rebounding. Duke, a much bigger team, especially in the front court, than Carolina and Wendell Carter Jr. Allen with the drive, hangs and hits. Games has been reduced by about seven per game. They're positioned to run, and they have to look to run more often. Great pass by Joel Berry on the drive. Berry off to 90% of their possessions since the last Carolina game have been the zone defense. Corner three, Kenny Williams. And the basketball is one-on-one -on -one in the post. And North Carolina electing to go one-on-one -on -one and just stay big. Berry with a long two, and the Carolina lead stretches to three. And having as many different teammates as Grayson Allen has had. It's really incredible. Trevon Duval with a steal, and the finish, and the foul! Tip back on the missed free throw, so another possession for the Blue Devils. Great fake, and a three. Great rebound by Carter, the kick to O'Connell. The freshman Alex O'Connell knocked down three threes in the game against Carolina back at the Dean Dome. The answer to the other end for Cameron. You have to go to shooters. Once it's inside that three-point line, the twos aren't going to hurt you. The threes are. Step back jumper, Gary Trent Jr. Duke. Now Carolina with a chance to run, something they love to do, and Johnson will slam it home. Oh, North Carolina is so good in transition. So now with a moving to the point for the most part. They feel they're kind of still evolving and still improving as they head into the postseason. Another great interior feed as the Duke's got to attack, try to get into the paint, and they'll be shooting free throws the rest of the half. Bagley gets a touch. Well, the first one, Feb 8 in Chapel Hill. Great steal by Grayson Allen. Pinson with a crossover and a finish. Nicely done. There are so many different players in like it. How do you how do you maintain the relevance of power conference tournaments? If the it's for your automatic bed. Just it's for your automatic bed. lead change in this game. Trent turnaround ties it. Well, he is doing all of his damage. Arizona and seemingly Arizona State safely in the field, but beyond that, it's anybody's guess. A great passing along the perimeter by North Carolina. A tough team to beat. They're different than they've been, but they're tough to deal with. Bolden, the catch and the finish. May with a drive and a finish at the other end. You know what's amazing about Carol Lee? Powerful inside. A good look for Kenny Williams. And Henson with a remarkable follow. One thing Duke's got to do is start hitting free throws. They are missing a ton of free throws in this game. Four out of 12 right now. Henson again. Or the middle of. Good fake. Allen with a runner. Got it. Trying to guard Joel Berry. Five seconds. Good pass. And Williams with a nice look. Bury the assist. Get deflection steals, go the other way, and then after a rebound, you can make an outlet the same as if you're playing in man. There's no reason you can't. Let's remember Bagley, Carter, and Allen all have two fouls. Bagley shovel pass into Javon Deloria. He has really struggled his last three games. Barry with a pull up and rattles it home to restore the 10 point advantage. Now keeping that double digit lead. They've got to go into Bagley. He's being guarded by Pinson. They'll try here. Williams with the help. Not enough. Only Carter able to just pick him apart. Good pass. Williams into Luke May for the easy one, and it's back to 10. Well, Luke May is not the type around Wendell Carter and Marvin Bagley the third in the lane. So three minutes into the second half, Carolina still leads by 10, and to make it 13 as Johnson knocks one down. Carolina bench wanted a push off there on Allen. They don't get the call. Carter. Oh, Roy Williams. Good ball movement against the zone. A great fake. And Williams knocks down the 16-footer. Boy, that is a... Duval back into the game for Duke, finds Carter. They double him, Duval's open, and knocks down the three. Not Brooks got it. Big bucket for the Tar Heels to step. Allen 
uses the screen, knocks down the three. Duval, Bagley! Tim and Grayson Allen will pull up and take that shot from behind the screen. Good pass into the middle. And that will quiet every point shooter in the league for most of league play until the last three games. Look at this one. Way deep from Johnson. Offensive rebound, Brooks. Nice pass to May. Follows it up. Not in rhythm. Well, Carter was wide open. Bagley for three. Could ask for. Bagley just trying to take over right now. He has still in the game. Trent. Duke leads. Gary Trent. And they, this, this zone can be very wide. Pinson up and in to tie the game. He to Allen. Well, Allen was wide open. Set a back screen for Marvin Bagley. That's what got him open. Whoa! What a follow by Bagley! Johnson for three. Carolina back on top. Eight minutes to go. And historically have been. Exactly. There go the parallel universe. <laughs> I should listen the first time. <laughs> Gary Trent. Boy, a great shooter just sees one go in. And maybe the same applies to Kenny Williams. How about this game? North Carolina getting open shots. That's just not knocking them down. Allen knocks it down and the Blue Devils are back on top. Barry's open, wow. and it's blocked by Duval. Pinson with a chance for a three-point play. But how about that play? I think Duke needs to drive the ball, get it into the paint. They've got an advantage in the foul situation. They can get to the free throw line. Duval drives it, banks it home. Screen action. Pinson fronting him. Instead, it's Trent. Good split of that double. And a great pass to Val to Bagley. Oh, it really needs a couple of stops. Vincent helps off Bagley. Carter's open for three. Wow. He doesn't take it. And Wendell Carter Jr. just scratching the surface of how good he's going to be. Vincent makes it a six-point game. Group will run the clock down. It's at seven. Duval! The Blue Devils with a great second half. And I think Mike Krzyzewski is going to try to get Grayson Allen out of the game here. He's going to call a timeout just to make a sub. O'Connell in. And Allen will walk off his court for the last time. Quite a career for Grayson Allen and quite a way for the senior to go.